Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the flyweight bout between Alan Nascimento versus Rafael Filo. And how do I feel about this one right here? Is I'm going low confidence Rafael Filo to beat um, Alan Nascimento. I think, um, yeah, it's very high level fight. Two very skilled competitors. Two guys with very, very high level BJJ. Two solid competitors. They match it very well. But, um, yeah, did I already say I'm going half high feel low, low confidence to beat Alan Osmento? But, yeah, with, with this one, I feel um, both of these guys will bring it. They'll push the pace no matter where the fight takes place. But I think half high feel low will push a higher place no matter where the fight takes place. I think when, if um, Osmento goes the route where he wants to try to take him down, control him in the grappling department, um, Osmento seems to be more so a position over submission guy. You know, he'll go for the submission, but he's more so position over submission unless the submission is there. He's not a guy that's going to attack as much. Whereas Rafael Filo, you on top of him, he's going to be rolling for knee bars, ankle locks. He's going to be rolling for submissions the whole time. You know, he's going to be threatening with every single day he can off the bottom. And he's not going to really accept the bottom. So I feel like Nelson Middle has been in fights where I have seen him kind of accept the bottom against other fighters. Like, he had a simple submissions, but he was not that aggressive as he can be off bottom. Where I feel, when I see Rafael Filo on bottom, you know, he's either trying to rip a limb off of you or he's trying to get back to his feet or he's trying to hit a sweep on you. And I feel like I haven't seen that from Nascimento. Not to say he doesn't have it. I don't see nearly as much, nearly as threatening as Rafael Filo off bottom. You know, he wrote really permanently damaged Mokai's like leg, had him a deep knee bar. And if that was in the gym or, you know, other situation or just 99.9% .9 of other fighters, they would have tapped or snapped. But um, nonetheless, what I've seen is when I see Rafael, again, I see Rafael Filo being more active if he does is on bottom, you know, attempt submissions or getting back to his feet. Never really disallowing um. Not some middle dad, long periods of time, just resting on top of him. He does go that route or tries that route. Don't you know, feel, I feel oh, same thing. I feel like Hoffa Filo is going to be drawing more heat. He's going to be pushing um, not some middle back more. And I could potentially see a stoppage here, but I'll say it's going to be a very competitive fight. And I see it going the distance, but I think um, Hoffa Filo will be pushing the pace again, whether it's on the ground, whether he's on bottom, whether he's on top. Anyway, like at pretty much all points of fight. I'm going to say he's going to just constantly just be pressing the whole fight, but I think he's going to be pressing him like at least 70% of the fight, landing heavy shots. Going harder for the submission, and I think the judges are going to see that, perceive that, and they're going to give it to Rafael Filo. So, in this one, I have Rafael Filo via decision. 